Hey everyone, this is a legendary speedrun guide for Tip of the Spear for Halo Reach on the MCC. This will get you the part time achievement as well as serve as a step by step guide on how to complete the level with ease on legendary. To start off with, you want to do as I did and run along the left side and then take out the two grunts inside of the turrets. This will trigger the pelican to start heading down so that you can progress through the level. Once you're in the Warhog, you want to drive where I do and then park up exactly where I do as well and we're going to need to shoot the anti-air turret eight times with the rockets on the back of the Warhog so that, that will actually destroy it so we don't have to go inside of the, the turret itself and then we can continue on. Once you've shot the turret eight times, you want to head around this corner like I'm doing and you'll see two ghosts. One is flipped over and an elite is driving the other one. I love to hijack the elite out of the ghost because he can sometimes kill you when you try and flip over the other ghost. But if he's not in a good position, then I'd go for the flipped over ghost. Here we're going to wait for the bridge to come down. You actually can boost over the bridge. Um, off to the right and then that will save you a little bit of time but for this tutorial we're not going to do that because it's unnecessary to get the part time achievement. Once you get to where I am you're going to want to boost exactly where I do and we're going to go around the side of the mountain to skip out all the enemies across the bridge. I like to take out the grunt in the shade turret here because he can sometimes kill you or he more than likely will kill you so you want to take him out and then run on through. Here we're going to skip a bunch of enemies by parkouring alongside these railings and then alongside the mountain. This will bring us out at the end of this little fighting section which saves a bunch of time. I like to take out one of these jackals here just in case they do decide to melt you as you run past. Then you want to grab this plasma launcher because we're going to use that later to kill the hunters. And then you run around the corner, jump in the revenant and then head on. When you get to where I am, you're going to want to jump out of the Revenant and then we're going to climb up these little pillars to get to the Warthog and we're going to sit on the turret of the Warthog to take out the next anti-air battery. shouldn't take too long to take that tower out and then we're going to jump out, get back in the Revenant and then go around the corner and then we're going to splatter as many as enemies as we can when we first come around the corner. I got plasma pistol overcharged here and nearly died but we survived and then once you take out these initial guys you're going to want to start plasma launching the hunters which are just around the corner. You also want to take out the Wraith pretty quickly because he'll do some serious damage to you if you leave him for too long. But the main thing is just taking out the Hunters with these plasma launchers because Hunters are, are lethal on Legendary in this game. If you run out of plasma launcher ammo there's a little crate um, where I'm going to go to in a second and there's a lot more ammo in there. Once again this is by no means the fastest way to complete the level but it is definitely fast enough for the part time achievement. 
If you guys would like more in-depth tutorials on the faster but harder strats for these levels, then let me know down in the comments. Here I should have jumped in the Revenant and just started splattering these enemies, it would have gone a lot quicker, but I wasted quite a bit of time trying to kill him with a DMR. Once you've taken out enough enemies, the Falcon will come down to pick you up and you just want to jump in the turret and then we're on to the flying section of this level. Um, the next section is really easy but you do kind of need to take out the enemies as quick as you can, otherwise they can actually kill you. Not much explanation is needed for this bit, just do as I do and shoot way ahead of your falcon, kill all the enemies before you can get to them. Once you load into this next section, we're basically at the end of the level. You just want to run up the right side like I'm doing. Um, this part is really easy, but um, I actually died here, embarrassingly enough. And I wanted to edit it out of the video, but I thought I can't do that because you guys will get mad at me if you see that I've edited something out. So I left it in to show you guys what can actually go wrong with the run. That being said, it's only a little bit of time loss, but it's just a stupid death. And I didn't want to keep it in the run. I would have done another run, but I thought I can't bother, so I kept it in. Um, yeah, deal with it. Basically, once I finally get back to where I died, uh, you want to jump up these rocks and then jump in a truck and then drive to the entrance of the spire. But I didn't do that in this video, I just ran to the entrance of the spire because um, I forgot the truck was there. But you can just, guys, can just run to it if you want, but if you need to save some time, jump in the truck and then drive to the entrance like I do or don't um, yeah that'll just save a few seconds once you get to the top of the spire you want to run around the corner like I do run straight to the ultra elite back smack him turn around, back smack the grunt with the fuel rod gun and then pick up his fuel rod gun and then turn around and blow up the rest of the grunts and then you want to press the button and then that is the end of the level. If you guys found this guide to be any help whatsoever then give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be bringing out guides for the rest of the levels very soon as well as more in-depth guides for the faster strategies and with that being said thanks for watching.